Hi and welcome back to AstroPix. Today's video is going to be a short video on how to input custom coordinates from Stellarium into APT. I do cover this in one of my earlier videos around the Crescent Nebula, but I thought it'd be useful just to do a dedicated video on this custom setting and how you can frame your objects and, and frame it how you like to. So without further ado, let's get into it. Here we are in APT. Astrophotography tool has a number of great extras, um, and one of which is the point craft. Point craft's great for plate solving. It was certainly a game changer when I started my astro journey. Helped me find objects a lot easier, frame them, bang, smack bang in the middle. And also it allowed me to do custom framing, so you can frame objects a little bit differently than what we necessarily see elsewhere. Um, it allows you to do mosaics, etc. So how to actually do these uh, custom framings is on this objects button here so if you click on objects and it, you've got your, your your list of your messier objects and the ngc um all, all those targets you've got all your stars and the plate solve to danab a lot to do my my, my focus run um, obviously you've got your star map and then here you've got your custom is the number that I've already entered and today we're going to add a new one on the flaming star nebula that I want to image so to get those coordinates we're going to jump over here into Stellarium and here is the flaming star nebula and I've picked a star relatively central to my framing that I want and that will give me the correct coordinates you can see the framing here um, that I'm going to be using my Newtonian the 150 PDS 750 millimeter um, with my Altair 26C. To put these details into Stellarium, it's quite straightforward. You click on the little spanner here and it gives you your list of your cameras. And you can enter all your camera sensor details in here and you can also go to telescopes and enter your telescope details here. It's really, really straightforward and I find it absolutely fantastic when you come to um, doing these, these framings. So, jump back here. So I've got this star here and we're going to take these on date coordinates from the top left and we're going to enter those into into uh, APT now. Let's jump back into that. So to enter the details you simply click on add new, give your object a name, flaming star, and then all I'm going to put in here is just the details of the telescope and camera so I know when I come to do my session, what, what combination the framing's for. Um, if you wanted to, you can also put here this emission nebula, and if you wanted to put the constellation, you can do that as well. So we're going to pop those coordinates in here, which was 5, 18, 48, 0.96. And then on here, it was plus 34, so you just put the 34, 17, 46.6. And you click on save, and there it should appear there. So next time you come to do your plate solving session, you click on the point craft, go to objects, and it will appear there. Import that in. And away it goes, just click go to and it'll frame it exactly how you've selected it from Stellarium, which is absolutely brilliant. Something else I've done from the objects list is also export all these into an Excel spreadsheet. So you click on export all objects and it gives you the option as an X XML. So you save that. And then you can, it comes out something looking something like this. So you get all the constellation, the magnetic magnitude, the size, the RA, and any angle details that you input on your list. And then what I've done from that is just create basically a, a shoot list. So I tidied it up just a little bit. Put the details of the object, the names, whether I've imaged it or not, and the date I imaged it. So you can always go back and find it if you wanted to add more more light frames to your to your 
to your session and also just record by shoot your darks, flats, dark flats, etc. And you can keep a record of your lights and build up a library of your shoot list. So that is really all there is to it. Um, I hope you found this short video useful. If you did, hit a, a like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And I wish you all clear skies.